I'm Steve Silbaugh. I'm a scientist and an element collector. I've collected elements over the past several years, and I've uh, gone into the different schools, uh, junior high, senior high, and sometimes elementary, to talk to kids about science. Uh, up until now, I haven't been uh, happy with my display of the periodic table elements, uh, but I've come up with a system now that I am quite happy with, and I thought I'd share that with you today. I thought of several ways of displaying the elements. What I came up with, I realized what I wanted to do. I wanted primarily to have the table on the wall, um, but portable, since I occasionally would want to take it into schools. I wanted it to be as beautiful and artistic as possible, uh, interactive, and in that you, know, you could easily interact uh, with the elements uh, in a safe way. Uh, that is, um, the more dangerous elements would be well contained. I also wanted to minimize oxidation and keep it inexpensive. Oh, I first chose the periodic table, and this was the uh, Theodore Gray, very large periodic table. It's actually reversible, and then uh, built a platform for that to sit on, and uh, with a quarter-inch plywood and framing at the back. And then uh, picked some magnets that were going to be just the right size. The 12 by 3 was actually, a uh, millimeter was actually the best. Glued those in. Uh, this was... Uh, when the, when it's finished with most of the magnets uh, here. And then just used uh, simple mild steel washers uh, to place uh, in different styles of uh, containers uh, for the different elements. And I used uh, four different styles of containers, but anything you can attach a, a washer to would, would certainly would work. Uh, some elements I did uh, two uh, magnets. I knew I'd have two samples with carbon. Did that. Uh, put magnets at the corners uh, so that I could uh, reverse the table if I wanted to uh, and take it down completely. Um, so here I'm just putting the table up and here it's up. Ready for elements to go up on the table. Here the elements uh, are on the table. Uh, you can see how the table looks. And this is the reversible side. In many ways it looks better, I think, uh, artistically. Not as much information, but I think artistically better. Uh, density differences are something else you can see pretty clearly on the table. I have a group of uh, one ounce coins, um, and uh, you can certainly see the difference in thickness, uh, kind of illustrating uh, density differences. They can certainly be taken off the table. Um, and you can see the thickness uh, and differences uh, even even better. Also, the magnetic properties of the elements can be seen very clearly, especially for nickel, cobalt, and iron. Uh, don't even need a container for these samples to go up on the board. Also, if you have a uranium-containing sample, like this Fiesta Ware plate, you can uh, see the radiation coming from that. Also fluorescence is a uranium oxide, phosphorescence, a europium oxide sample. Element collecting can be a great way to learn about science, both for kids and adults. Um, I hope some of these ideas inspire you, and happy element collecting.